Okay guys and welcome back. So what we've done so far is uh, get a video, convert it into the three formats that we like to, that we want to use, um, got that all playing uh, within this video element here, uh, defined a few uh, sort of parameters, uh, tags if you like in here, and uh, also taking a more in-depth look at the other tags that you can use so you can find all of that in the previous videos. What we're going to be doing now is just adding a little bit of JavaScript into the uh, HTML, which we're going to be able to use to modify certain things. And in, in this example, I'm just going to be modifying uh, the size of the video. So what we're going to, what we've done uh, so far is we have this. Yeah, well, this is a root directory here with our index page that we're working with. We have a folder called JS, and in that we have this file called JavaScript. That's javascript.js. So um, we're going to want to call that in. Um, so underneath the, the video tags, that will do. If we just type in a script src equals, and then a slash script, I'll just call, uh, close that off. Uh, the source is js, which is the folder js, and then javascript.js. Just check that I spelled that right. That looks right to me and we can now begin uh, modifying this uh, or putting code in for that so I'll just save that um, so in here what we're going to want to do is to create a variable which uh, will sort of get the element video by its ID in this case the ID is also video and we can use that variable then to play with uh, you know the different things that we want to play with. So um, just to sort of show you, uh, I'll create a variable set to var, and I'll just call it my video equals. Then we want to say document dot get element by ID. And uh, just to uh, explain, it's very important that you get these capitals in the right place. Uh, the, not so much for the variable here because that's exactly what a variable is, but uh, document dot uh, get that's all in lower uh, lower case element and the e is capitalized by and the b is capitalized there and id and the i is capitalized there javascript is very fussy with things like that uh, you want to open up your brackets and we'll use a semicolon to close that off and the element that we're getting is video so just understand that we're getting the element by the ID so we're getting this element but the, the method of doing that is by it's going to be looking for an ID called video so it's not looking for this here it's looking for this uh, sort of text inside this ID parameter and now we can start playing with the JavaScript or adding some in so what we're going to do is we're going to create a function and I'm going to call this big uh, brackets you'll you'll want in there and then you're going to want your curly brackets as well and we're not calling anything in here but because it's a function you need to put that in and then we're just going to say my video so in reference to this variable so it's getting the element by the ID video and there's the variable there called my video so my video dot width equals and I'm gonna make this big so the max files uh, so the max file size the max width of the video is 854 because that's what we downloaded so I'm just going to choose that to for the big part of it so 854 uh, and then you want to use your semicolon to close that off uh, simple as that we're going to need another function called small uh, and again exactly the same my video dot width equals uh, we'll say 320 I don't know choose whatever value you want and then uh, finally function uh, normal we'll call this and uh, it's gonna be my video dot width and the normal I believe was 420 so I'll just save that now uh, just double check that that looks all right uh, and I think 420 is the original file size, uh, well not file size again the original width is 420 so that's good now this won't do anything because we need to call these functions which will then 
uh, sort of bring everything else into play. So to call the functions, we're just going to uh, put in uh, three buttons. So it looks like this. So it's just a button and then slash button. And I'm going to want to do that three more times because we've got three functions. Uh, button and button. Okay. And inside this, uh, call it whatever you want. So I'm going to go for big, small, and normal. So this is going to create three buttons, a bit like submit buttons, with the text big, small, and normal in sort of three separate ones, uh, which it does there. Now, uh, I, I'm going to put a break in here just to sort of separate or put the video on a different line, if you like. Now, again, we've got the buttons, but, well, they don't do anything, and that's because we still yet haven't called the functions that we want to use. So if I go on button and then type in in here on click equals the two um, quotation marks and the function, which is big, this big button here. So inside the, the, the button, uh, the, the first sort of button uh, angle brackets, on click equals and then big. Uh, and then your uh, brackets, and that will call the function big. Uh, one more, or two more actually. So again, on click, and this is for the small, we call that small. And one more time, on click equals, and then we're going to call the function uh, normal. There we go. So if I save that, fingers crossed, when I refresh this and press big, the video gets bigger, small, smaller, and then normal here. Um, and as you can see, we've only actually defined the width here. That's, that's the only thing that we're modifying. So my video dot width equals 320. We haven't said anything about the height, and I did sort of touch on this in a previous video that um, videos are proportional, so you don't need to specify the height and the width. Uh, it will uh, modify itself to size automatically, so that's not something that you need to worry about. Uh, so, fantastic. Uh, we're nearly there, so I think in the next video, we're going to be taking a look at Flash. And when I say Flash, I literally mean Adobe Flash, the, the big products. And what we're going to be doing is um, creating a fallback and I'll talk more in depth about that and why the hell I'm deciding to use flash but as I said uh, in terms of uh, a process called graceful get degradation uh, putting flash in there is what we call a fallback so but anyway I'll leave you guys with this and uh, I will see you in the next video